This is Ramalinga Prasad Kuppa. Welcome to my channel, Pharma World. Today's topic is limit of detection and limit of quantitation to understand in a simpler way. Limit of detection, LOD or detection limit, DL and limit of quantitation or quantitation limit, QL are important parameters to understand for the estimation of impurities at very low levels. This video makes you to understand these two parameters in a simpler way. Limit of detection LOD. This is the limit to detect any impurity above the noise of the baseline. When there is an impurity or any organic entity going through the detector cell in HPLC or GC, you get a signal. When there is no such impurity going through the detector, obviously there is no signal. Whatever small disturbances get recorded is called a noise. So it is to understand that when there is no signal, the detector disturbances will be only noise. The noise is the roughness of the baseline. The baseline looks like a straight line at low sensitivity, but when the baseline is rescaled to a high sensitivity, it would appear with a zigzag pattern. Did you notice the baseline in a HPLC RGC chromatogram on monitor screen while analytical run is in progress? At low sensitivity, the baseline looks like almost a straight line, but try to view the chromatogram at high sensitivity. It looks like a hair comb in a zigzag pattern. This zigzag pattern is due to the residual noise that is being generated by the detector. Our aim is to differentiate this noise with the signal due to an impurity. Basic procedure to find out physically the LOD is by visual inspection. So basically when the zoomed baseline is viewed, any signal above the average noise is considered as signal due to impurity. This can be seen visually. Conceptual calculation for LOD is any signal above the noise. So conceptually, this is the basis for determining the LOD. Signal to noise ratio S by N is actually the height of the signal divided by the height of the noise. So what is the signal to noise ratio? It is a simple mathematical expression ratio of signal and noise. You don't worry about how to calculate. The software of your HPLC will do this for you automatically. This is only to illustrate how it is calculated. USP EP has different calculations as two times the height of the peak divided by the noise. So USP and EP has different type of calculation. This way you get double the result as calculated above signal divided by the noise method. This is the basic method for LOD. Because of variations in methods of calculation, this may not be the ideal approach for determining the LOD. Let us see one example of baseline noise versus signal. In this example, the baseline is shown in high sensitivity scale. See the pattern? This is not a straight line. This is a zigzag pattern. There are several signals, few above the center of the pattern, few below the center of the pattern. See? In this, the question is, which is signal due to impurity and which is noise? Let us see how LOD calculation is done by a linear regression method. This is more accurate and reproducible. This is more scientific and justifiable method of calculation. The important steps in sequence are prepare six linear concentrations, tabulate the responses in Excel sheet. Firstly, six linear concentrations of any impurity should be made. That means 
different concentrations like 2 mg per ml, 4 mg per ml, 6 mg per ml, etc. should be made. Zero concentration should also be part of the replicate concentrations. This gives a total of seven data points for data analysis. Then they should be injected in sequence in a set of conditions. Tabulate the detector signals as areas for all concentrations in an Excel worksheet. Insert a scatter graph, go to the chart elements and tick trend line. Insert data in a scatter graph. This is also simple to do. Go to the insert tab in the Excel sheet and go to the scatter graph option. Now you are set for data generation. Go to chart elements. Some Excel versions have separate tab for this. Some versions have a plus mark by the side of the graph. Now select linear option for simple linear regression. Then tick off the trend line. In the trend line, there are other options. Select access, access labels and chart titles. Now the graph has all the data displayed on the graph. Go to more options and click display equation on chart. Further below those options, tick the display equation option. You will see the data displayed on the screen with slope and intercept. Note the slope value. Let us see how data analysis is done in the Excel sheet. Let us see the steps for data analysis. In the same Excel sheet, go to the data tab. You see data analysis at the right side corner of the sheet. Select the cell location where the data analysis should appear in output range. Then select residuals, residual plots, standardized residuals and line fit plots. Select the input Y range and input X range in the input option. Fill in the above set data into the spaces provided and click OK tab. For input X, select concentrations and for input Y, select signal as area counts. You get very interesting data. Let us see one typical example. In this example, the data from six replicate injections and one zero concentration injection were considered. Concentration in the left side column are in a linear progression. Respective responses as area counts for the impurity are given in the right side column. Let us do the data analysis for this data as described in the above slide. The data generated looks like this. In this, you need two parameters, the standard error, which is 549.44, the second parameter slope, which is represented as x variable one, coefficients, which is 1946.01. Let us see the calculation of LOD. Calculation of LOD is 3.3 into standard error, that is SE, divided by slope. Remember this simple formula, 3.3 times of the ratio of standard error and slope is LOD or DL. In the above example, standard error is 549.44 and slope is 1946.01. So the LOD is 3.3 multiplied by 549.44 divided by 1946.01 
that is equal to 0.93 LOD thus obtained is reported as 0.93 ppm it means that any amount below 0.93 ppm cannot be detected in the set of conditions of analysis LOD is reported as parts per million that is ppm so for example if the specification limit is less than 0.93 ppm this analytical method is not suitable you may have to modify the existing method or use different method let us look into the calculation for limit of quantitation limit of quantitation is the minimum limit of quantitation for estimating accurately the amount of impurity present in the product next parameter of importance is limit of quantitation or also called as quantitation limit ql lod is just an indication that there is a potential impurity detected but cannot be estimated so the question is what is the minimum amount that can be estimated it is the smallest amount or the lowest concentration of a substance that is possible to be determined by means of a given analytical procedure with the established accuracy precision and uncertainty that means it can be established through validation so the requirement is that the method should be capable to validate with accuracy precision and uncertainty parameters these are parameters for establishing the validated status of the analytical method for routine use it is another calculation based on the same standard error and slope so it is similar extrapolated calculation of lod the formula is 10 multiplied by the standard error divided by the slope as a thumb rule it is 3 times the lod so if you represent loq with reference to lod it is 3 times of lod in the above formula 10 can be replaced with 3 multiplied by 3.3 multiplied by standard error divided by slope other important points to note are for any test carrying out the trace amounts of contaminants in the equipment wash water these two parameters lod and loq values are necessary this is very important point for validation of cleaning methods the analytical methods should be sensitive enough to estimate the much lower levels of residues so unless the lod and loqs are established there is no relevance to the analytical method validation in fact for such validations the lod and loq values are much lower for sa test validation lod and loq are not relevant sa of api will be at higher levels of about 99 to 100% for such sa test lod and loq are not required to be established for sa of api in a drug product also lod and loq are not relevant similarly for sa determination of higher levels of api same strategy should be followed for estimation of lower levels of drug product components loq should be sufficiently low to be able to estimate such lower level components this point is also important when the api content in a drug product is very low say at about 0.1% this is required since the content is very low it is necessary to establish the lod and loq values 
I hope that the details of LOD and LOQ are understood well. Try to get some experience with some examples in visual inspection method, signal to noise ratio, or based on the standard error and slope values. Try an Excel worksheet on real-time data using the data analysis on linear regression and compare the results obtained in the HPLC software. You will really enjoy the knowledge. You can become a fantastic chromatographer. Thanks for watching. For more videos, please do subscribe, like and share. Thank you.